Fuel, fuel, fuel. And I'm out of fuel. Please. Coast, baby. Coast. It's over, boys. It's over. So you give Welcome. Now, I'm sure you could see the wheel. I'm sure you could tell I'm a lot closer than I usually am. Uh, yes, we're doing a good driving game. Wow, yeah. I've had a really hectic week, so I, I wanted to cool off, do some therapeutic driving, if you may, and we're, ETS is, is, is the best choice. However, I decided to choose a almost 9,000 kilometer long journey, and I wanna see how long it will take. The journey is this. So we start down here at the very bottom of Spain. Then we go through Madrid, through Paris, through parts of Belgium, parts of Germany. We go through that long, long bridge connecting Denmark to Sweden. I'm gonna see part of the Norwegian coast here, through Oslo, through a lot of foresty, beautiful areas, through the Swedish coast sort of region, down through Finland, a lot of nice back backcountry roads that will be taken through all of the Baltics, through Belarus, up to Moscow, and down to Volgograd, making a total of 8,760 kilometers. Now, I ended up changing this down the line. This that you see on screen now is the readjusted track. So use this if you want to do it, use this. Now, you may be asking, well, this is great. This is all good and all, but what are we driving? In? What are we gonna use for this epic journey? Well, because I want to see how fast we could get there, we're not using a truck, I'm using a car. And uh, you may say, oh, well, speed, you gotta go with something like a Bugatti, you know, maybe a Ferrari. No. Oh, no, we ain't using no Ferrari and no Bugatti. We are using one of my favorite cars of all time. Unbe- Can you not, please? I'm recording, thank you. Unbeatable in terms of looks. Wow. Eh. But it's one of my favorites, is the Mark II GTI. I absolutely adore this car to bits. But from the outside, it looks beautiful. Lowered, nice rims, beautiful color. The mod will be in the description. The interior, also very nice. Don't mind the seating position, I haven't adjusted that. The problem comes with um, no sat nav. There's no navigation. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to deal with the sat-nav in the corner. I know, I know, terrible, horrible, you, some may say, but there's just, there's nothing I could do about it. This mod doesn't have a sat-nav. I think it's quite unfortunate, you know, like if the car doesn't have a built-in sat-nav, a lot of the cars did, but they wanted, they were an automatic, so they were like seven speed, eight speed. Problem is, I want to do manual, but my manual shifter is a six speed, so. Now, you may also realize I have a brand new mic arm. Uh, there's a reason for it. You want to see my old one? Oh, you're gonna love this. No, I'm rolling. So, uh, here's my mic arm. It's not much of an arm anymore, if I'm being honest. How? But it, uh, well, it's, it's something, right? Yeah, this, uh, the screw snapped off, so it's just like forever erect. Push it down, comes back up. Look at that. Forever half erect. Yeah, it is disappointing. So obviously, it's not too bad that the sat nav is, is, is in the corner because you can see how much time and distance we still have left. We will be sleeping. We will try to abide by the rules. A few moments later. It's good for me. I could see uh, I could see when we need to sleep. I could see our fuel, even though I could also see it there, but I have glasses for a reason. I can't, you know, come on. But you'll see the time, the day, and so on and so on, which is pretty damn neat. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's just get into it, you know? And so our journey began, all the way over to Volgograd. Throughout the drive within the city, 
I was pretty good, nice and responsible. But then I thought, oh, hang on a minute, I'm in a, I'm in a GTI. What am I doing? So as soon as I got out of the city, I turned off my brain, turned on the idiot section of my brain, and thought, why not Florida? And boy, oh boy, was that a mistake. Believe me, it is a, it is a sign of things to come. This, this is gonna be a great journey. Oh, good heavens! I, uh, I saw that one. I saw that. Whoa! After slithering in between cars like an absolute professional driver, don't fact check me, I got stuck behind two trucks for a long while, but uh, once I got past them, the drive went really smoothly. Surprisingly smoothly. Not a fine, not a crash, nothing. Just right through all the traffic. Before the smooth drive of Norway and, Norway and Sweden, my main issue was gas, and um, I made a I, I made a big boo boo by uh, by missing the damn gas station. Now I got lucky on this one. You'll see, I managed to get one right as I was running out of fuel. But spoiler alert, Germany will not be so friendly to me. Yeah yeah yeah, it's my fuel. Perfect. Expect a lot of these. 185? Jesus! That's brutal. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. Look how old that thing is. Jesus! It's as old as my golf. Probably. Yet it's still faster than this car. God damn it, Mini, you disappoint me. Oh, the bullshit. Bullshit. That hurt me. That hurt my soul. Oh shit. Joining. Now, as I'm sure you've realized, I don't really control my speed. I just kind of floor it. You know, hope for the best. Whatever happens, happens. And, um, well, something happened. Something happened. All because <laughs> I didn't control my speed. Oh boy, this is gonna happen again and again and again. Holy fuck. Hey, only 4%. I'll take it. So once I went into the gas station and decided to purposely block the truck while I slept, it was a great decision, I'm proud of it. I, um, I faced karma and woke up to this. Now, you may say, well, what's the big deal? It's just a bit of rain. You ain't scared of rain, are you? Well, no, no, I'm... I'm not scared of rain, um, just, just, just watch, just watch and see. So, uh... Wow. What even is that? So, after quickly realizing that my accelerator braking and turning has gone to absolute garbage, I decided I needed to let off some steam and complain about the damn wipers. I don't make mods, right? I don't. But surely, you should be able to make proper wipers. Right? Isn't that like... kind of important to have wipers at work? Now, I don't know if the god of ETS heard me or something, but... My game decided to die. There goes my game. So after speed running my mod selection, I actually did pretty well. The drive went really, really smoothly. We had no crashes. Okay, maybe one. Okay, may maybe we had a bit more than just one. Um, but other than, you know, other than these, we had no issues. Filled up on time. Drive went pretty well. We went past our 1,000 mark. We're down under 8,000 kilometers left. Now, after filling back up for the hundredth time now, 
I went back onto the road, and would you be surprised if I said the weather got worse? It is so much worse. I couldn't see absolutely anything. I couldn't see 10 meters in front of me. But on the bright side, I didn't hit anything. Okay, well, other than that one time, but overall, everything went really, really well. I mean, even the weather ended up clearing up. This is great. But I then quickly realized at some point I got into France because the amount of tolls I had to go through hurt my soul beyond belief. I can't even count how many I've seen. But if I see another toll, I will have to be taken away into a psych ward. I swear to God. So after then deciding to enter the wrong toll booth, I, uh, well, I had to reverse out. So after slowly but surely reversing out, I crashed into a truck. I, I, I don't know how I manage it. I think at this point, it's, it's kind of a skill, but going under 15 kilometers an hour, I managed to, to crash. It's, it's quite, quite impressive. I'm, st I still look back at it and I look back in, in, in surprise, to be honest. Nonetheless, after the truck decided to give the idiot more space, I went in. I went through the booth and repeated this exact thing multiple times. Except the wrong booth part. That's no good. We probably shouldn't drive like this on a turn, my friend. Yo, every time I'm low on fuel, there's a gas station right next to me. This is perfect. It's like God himself is like, you know what? Let's let's place one here. This is great. This is, this is fantastic. Now, I know I said I must have been in France. I hadn't yet entered France. I entered France right there. But the tolls never stopped coming. And um, and you know what? Somewhere along this way, I, I think I crashed somewhere because, um, well, not good happens. Not good. Holy shit, did I not just re- That's not good. Nah. And then soon after this debacle, son, I mean an absolute miracle happened. And I really do mean miracle. I'm surprised myself. However, this event would give me a very false, false level of confidence I should not have had. We're about an hour in and our engine is already malfunctioning. And we're running out of fuel. Damn. Fuel, 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 fuel. And I'm out of fuel. Please, coast baby, coast. Careful with the braking. Please, please. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> a lot of you guys were thinking, why is he flooring it? He's out of fuel, let's slow down. That's why I floored it, so I could just coast right to it. <laughs> Dude, I surprise myself sometimes. I mean, it's, it's scary how incredible I am. Damn. Now, after this close call, I, um, I made a mistake. And I really do mean a mistake. I thought the toll I'm going into is the ones that you just go right through and they automatically take the money from you. Um, turns out, no, I ended up driving into a reserve toll. Yeah. Well, to cut a long story short, this this is a mistake that I would consider challenge changing. Challenge ending, perhaps. It is one of the biggest mistakes I did on this run, and uh, it ends up biting me in the ass quite damn far. Because if you remember at the start, one prerequisite, pre prerequisite, 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 I can't say that word, is that you can only repair your vehicle fully once. So if you go to repair, can only repair 
all of it. You can't repair parts. You can only repair all of it once. After that, you just gotta deal with the damage. And uh, unfortunately, I will have to be dealing with the damage later on. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh! Stop it, I'm in line. Now, t see the problem, the problem now is uh, I'm on 36% damage. Oh, and uh, here's my final, wow, that was really close. Sort of gas station pull up for a long, long while. Enjoy it because uh, you ain't gonna see any more of these fellas. <gasps> right there. Barely made it again. Boy, that was a close one. Close one it definitely was. However, we're also close to another thing. The death of our engine. No. No, none of that. Thank you very much. So before we even made it to Paris to fix our vehicle, we ended up getting fined. Quite a bit, actually. We went 93 over the speed limit. Now, you know, it's under 100, so double digit over should be fine. But apparently not. I mean, I just think these French people, they're just, they're overreacting. I was only going 160, 180. You know, I see nothing, nothing wrong with that, to be honest. Now, on top of on top of that, we ran out of fuel, and unfortunately, the uh, the coasting technique didn't help. Had we just slowed down a little bit, we would have made it, but we didn't. Fuck. And we're out. We're out for the count. Don't tell me that the... It's right there. Anything, anything, come on. It's out, it's out, out. Realistically, you would just push it. You're right there, right? So you would just kind of, that's a golf. A Mark II Golf at that, it weighs probably less than me. <laughs> oh, that's that. Even coasting, I couldn't get to it. Oh, it's right there. Ah, uh, technically, I'm in the gas station, right? By technicality. So. Wow, without your engine power, this wheel does not like to turn. Oh, there we go. Lock. Just... God damn it. <laughs> so, after calling a refuel service to fuel me up so I could go to the gas station that's 20 meters away from me, I then naturally slowly drove up, filled up my tank to that, tip it up, and then try to turn my engine on. Yeah, it was a bit a bit fun to be honest. It took a solid five, six, maybe seven attempts. I didn't count. I don't want to count. It's very painful. However, from here, you're gonna see an extra smart level move. A1 class driving right here, just perfection. In order to get some pretty shots, I wanted to do some like bird's eye view stuff. And um, well, I crashed. Yeah, I, yep, there you go, yep. Boom, crash. Yeah, no, not fun, not fun. So after this tedious drive of turning my engine back on while going 200 kilometers an hour, I made it to Paris and repaired my vehicle. However, I got the bad news of it, uh, of the price. The price was 13,000. At that point, just buy a second Golf, just buy another Mark II, but God damn it, we couldn't. 
So, once my little Volkswagen was repaired at a Renault dealer, I went back onto the road with excitement and then I realized, wait, we're, we're not going to be on the highway. We're going to be following cars because we're using country roads. However, I think it's quite a blessing. The roads were pretty pretty. And so, here's the time lapse. You're welcome. And unfortunately, once we got back onto the highway, my brain went back into rear mode and decided, huh, I wonder how fast my golf can really go. So I floored it. I, uh, I think I reached 206. Yep. So, uh, that's fun. Almost died though. Have a look. Oh, no, no, no. Not at this speed, please. That would end in disaster. Why is my car shaking? So, after texting and driving, we managed to make it to Belgium. And by God, let me tell you, I like it here. You know, they've got good chocolate. Uh, where was Belgium? I don't know. I don't know what, you, what else you guys do. Well, what I do know is you guys have some really high goddamn fuel prices. What is this shit? A Euro 90? You gotta be shitting me. God damn it, that's criminal. You know how nice it is when your engine starts first try? Do you have any idea how nice it is when your engine doesn't decide to just die? It's unbelievably nice. Like, genuinely, one of my favorite things when your engine just doesn't die. It's pretty cool, if I'm being honest. Ooh! That was nice. That was... that's the shit right there. Oh yeah, bud. Well, how did I not take damage? Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. I just... I don't understand how we didn't take damage. It must be... It must be God. Now, after getting within kissing distance of that wall, you'd expect me to, you know, slow it down a bit. Be like, you know what? I need to slow down before I need to repair my car again and fail the challenge because I'm not allowed to repair the car again. Uh, no, you'd be wrong. You'd be very, very wrong. I proceeded to floor it. I mean, look at that. 207. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, yeah. That's the shit. Now, you may say, well, why is he floor up? Oh, there you go. Add a fuel. Yep. That's why I was flooring it. And there's Germany, the start of the most painful section of this run. When I say I run out of fuel more times in, in, in Germany alone than every other country combined, I mean it. That's not a joke. I run out of fuel more times than I can count. Now, I can't count very much, so let's get some help from count because I can't quite count. Ah, that's one. Oh, f fuck. <sighs> well, shit. Two. Not long at all. What was that like? A minute and a half of flooring it? 50 liters, gone. <laughs> three, three fabulous flyers. Ah, ah, ah. It took three refuels until I would see my first fuel station. Now you may say, well, if you didn't fucking floor it, you would have made it. Well, guess what? Yeah, I know, I, I know, I'm fully aware of that, but where's the fun in that? So I went to sleep, refueled my car, and I'm back onto the road where I inevitably run out of fuel once again. His poor infrastructure in Germany. I can't even floor it without getting to another gas station. Whereas, like, it, um, already, wow. 
Alright, let's just coast to a gas station. Hopefully. I say as I'm dropping speed so quickly. Spoiler alert, I didn't make it. Nope, did not make it, but I was pretty damn close. So when I did get to the gas station, I was horrified to see the price at two euros 18. What the f After getting over my aneurysm by seeing the price, I decided, hey, let's run out of fuel again. Except this time I pressed the wrong button. I, uh, yep, I went to, uh, I went to hangar. I went to a repair place, not a, yeah. Now, at the time, my mic was muted. Why? I don't know. Don't know. But uh, here's a dramatized reenactment of my reaction to my mistake. Now, after politely telling my monitor to eat shit, I decided, hey, let's drive tomorrow instead. So uh, this is now the next day. The rest of all of the footage will be from the next day. So once we started, we went right to the closest the gas station. I wasn't gonna play around. And we had a new tactic today. We drove economically. I know, unheard of concept, especially with me. I mean, you know, I think I'm pretty good at economical driving, but we went extra, extra on the economical. Everything went so well, in fact, that Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, and then the other half of Sweden will all be a time lapse. You're welcome. I think, uh, you know, I think this video could use a time lapse. And God damn it, nothing happened. I have nothing to say for it. So just so no one says, haha, you skipped it, you lied, you skipped it. Uh, it's gotta be a time lapse. Enjoy. Haha, <laughs> got you, motherfucker. Yeah, nope, not yet. Nope. <laughs> nope. The pain continues. So before we could even get to Denmark, we had to take a ferry. Our route needed it, so we took a ferry. However, uh, I couldn't, for some reason, go up forwards. I slowed down too much, and apparently my golf didn't have the power to get up. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on, so I decided, you know what? Fuck it. Reverse it is. So, um, yep, I, uh... I reversed my way into the fa I was just a bit... I'm looking back at it now. I'm confused as to why I couldn't get up, but you know what? Hey, you know, we reversed into the ferry. I, I, why not, I guess, right? Why not? Now, after I was straightened by the power of God himself, apparently, because I don't know how I managed to straighten out in the middle of a ferry, I, uh, I left. I left nice, slow, safe, uh, paid attention to all the road markings, didn't speed, you know, I went through it like a normal, responsible citizen, and boom, we're in, we're in Denmark. And the journey can finally begin to being as economical as possible after flooring it just a couple times, just to see what the roads are like. And um, the roads are pretty nice for the most part. Keep in mind, if there's any cuts within the actual time lapse, that's just me cutting out BS, like checking the map or, or uh, stuff like that. For the most part, I didn't crash. I might have crashed once or twice. I might have ran out of fuel. Maybe once, but otherwise, hey, it went, it went all right. Well, it went good enough, and by golly, that's, that's good enough for me.
Boom. We're in Estonia, baby. We're already in the Baltics. That's a lot faster than I thought it would be. Like a lot, a lot. It's kind of crazy. Crazier still was the fact that we had quite a while to go. We still had 2.5 thousand kilometers to go. Not bad considering the journey started at about what? 8, 7, 8, 5? Give or take about 9,000 kilometers. Pretty damn cool. Now, now after driving through the beautiful city of Tillin, I, uh, I went straight to a gas station because uh, my fuel wasn't too low, but I knew it was gonna go down. Once I got in the gas station, refueled, saw that beautiful, beautiful price in comparison to goddamn Germany, I continued on my way driving somewhat economical. I wanted, you know, I wanted to, to press it a little bit, you know? Can't blame me, right? And by God, by golly, did I press that pedal. However, before we continue, I want everyone to go down in the comments and type out just a simple sentence. Um, you did nothing wrong. The car shouldn't have been turning. You were a uh, good speed and you did nothing wrong. Just, just you know, just as validation again. Um, because what happened on the Estonian Latvian border really did hurt my soul. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, oh boy. I missed this. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, that hurt. Hurt it did, but it didn't hurt as much as my hands did after hitting my desk more times than I can count after recording. Once I got over the mistake from the BMW, naturally I'm not at fault. I, uh, I drove through Latvia and Lithuania fine, just fine. No crashes, no, no nothing, so that's pretty neat. However, it, uh, it didn't occur to me that I still had almost 2,000 kilometers left to drive on an engine that is almost 69% damage. You know, it still makes me sad. Really? You couldn't give me an extra one? Just give me the extra one. It's fine. It's fine. I'll take it. At least then I have a funny number. Now I don't even have that. After driving through Latvia and my home country, fine, just fine, I ended up crossing the border and sleeping just on the border between Lithuania and Belarus. I'm sure you've seen by now, my lights are pretty damn dog shit. So um, I wasn't too keen on driving at night, but hey, it is what it is. And I really wanted to get over with this stuff considering I'm now at almost 70% damage. Yeah, I, I hit a truck or something, I don't quite remember, but I, yeah, no, it's, it's no fun. Now, admittedly, the drive did actually go really well, uh, other than the engine turning off every 30 seconds or so, if I'm lucky, every minute, it went well. I didn't crash into anything, I didn't run out of fuel. However, I was running out of fuel, so I had to stop and get some fuel. And when I told you, it, I... Never again. <laughs> Never again am I turning off my engine. Jesus, we're up. Holy shit, our fuel is 75 cents here. No wonder Vilnius citizens are going here. I'd be going here. 75 cents? That's over half of what it costs back home. Christ. I kid you not, it took 22 attempts to get my engine to run once again. Now, before I was even able to complain about my engine, I realized the price. 
And uh, after that, I think I just forgot about my engine or something because I never mentioned the amount of times at all. I just moved on with my life. Now, because my engine was dying, I really wanted to make this as fast as possible. Other than some idiots stopping in the middle of a roundabout, everything was going well. Other than me crashing into a truck or post, something else. I don't know. Either way, I'm now even more damaged. I mean, look at the icon. That's easily... There you go. 85% baby. Beautiful. Uh, was it 85? I can't read. I don't have my glasses on. Now, unfortunately, somewhere along this way, I ended up changing up the route. Instead of going all the way down to the bottom of Belarus, then go back up, I decided, hey, I want to I wanna go down those like really rough country roads in a lower gulf. Yeah, safe to say that wasn't a great idea. So much so that that would end up being our culprit for this failure. We never made it to Russia. We never even made it to the border. We made it to the middle of Belarus, just beyond the middle of Belarus. Had we not changed around, we might have actually made it. You never know. So uh, it's unfortunate, but um, yeah, just, just watch this pain. Funny. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. So, uh, this is my life now. Uh, and here goes the rough part. Oh, fuck. Can I even drive on that? go up here. Oh no, I'm stuck stuck. I still have my Yeah. I'm... It's over, boys. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Now I did actually continue to drive, I wasn't going to leave it off there, the whole point was to see how long it would take. So I repaired my vehicle and off I go back to the races, unfortunately it wouldn't count because I had to repair my car. So, the time that it took was far longer than I anticipated, I don't know if I mentioned it, but at the start I thought about four and a half hours, it wasn't even close to four and a half hours. The way I figured out this number, because my actual timer was wrong as I started it late, I used my footage. I just calculated it from the start to the end of my footage. And by God, by golly, that was six hours, 28 minutes and 35 seconds. Now it's, you know, it's quite, 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 quite more longer <laughs> than what I expected. But I did end up reaching Volgograd. Now the question remains, would I do this again? Probably not. Um, if I did do it, it would be a shorter route. It would be with a truck, just so I could take some different routes. And, uh, but most importantly, shorter, 9,000 kilometers, six and a half hours. I mean, it's, it's not too bad. But the editing was absolutely painful. I mean it. I would have rather had Satan come up and tickle my balls then redo this sort of editing. Every 20 seconds, my footage was out of sync. I spent more times syncing up my footage than I did actually editing. It was painful and that is why this video is about two days late. I would sync up the footage, do the 10, 20, 10 minutes of editing and then it's out of sync again. So I would edit, storm out, edit, storm out. It was just absolute, pain and i do know why this was happening when the game freezes up just because it's overloaded or something so does the recording but the audio doesn't so as the video goes on 
it just gets more and more out of sync. That's why when I resync things, it doesn't matter. It just becomes out of sync once again. So uh, I have to mess around my settings and whatnot. But I am still happy I did this video. I'm proud of it. You know, I, I enjoyed editing it. It's very different to my horror stuff that I typically do. You know, if you guys did enjoy it, it would mean the world to me if you guys liked sub. I've never said this, but even shared. <laughs> Just because it took a long while. I really like the video. It's very different to what I typically do. And it's been a good learning experience, especially considering I have an even larger video coming up where I have approximately 65 hours of raw footage. Uh, well, that one's not finished yet. So I expect that one around September time just because I'm going away on holiday, unfortunately. But that is it for Overlay Noah. I'm giving it back to old Noah from a few days ago. <laughs> yeah, it's taken a few days to edit this. I just, I needed breaks constantly because, oh, it's been annoying. All right, well, I didn't make it. But can you make it? That's the real question. Um, I'll have a lot of the mods that I've used in the description. I'll have the route in the description as well. Uh, just the names of the, the, the cities, key cities to pass. Have those in the description so you guys can try it out yourself. You saw the map as well. Um, again, I did change the map. Change the map. Doesn't really matter because uh, that ended up actually killing me. And we can't actually do that because you can't drive through there. But you know what? To be honest, it wouldn't be my video if I didn't fail. <laughs> If I did not fail, it wouldn't be a Noah's Doll video, would it now? Nonetheless, uh, I've been trying to get... I have one video pre-recorded for June. It's, it's been a really stressful month, if I'm being honest. May has been terrible. I mean, university was a lot. Now I have this BS on my head. I had a bunch of things go wrong. My cooler died. My mic arm died somehow. It's just, oh, it's a mess. So, um, so yeah, I apologize for the lack of videos, even though I anticipated to make a lot. Had everything gone well, I would have made a lot. I would have pre-recorded plenty. Uh, I'm constrained on getting pre-recorded content for June because there'll be absolutely no uploads in June uh, from me otherwise. So, uh, but if you guys want to see other content, let me know. If you want to see more ETS, let me know. I'm more than happy to record ETS. It's just that it takes a while, isn't it? I have some BeamNG videos lined up that are going to be made. New horror stuff got to be made as always. It's just uh, kind of slow on the horror end. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, might as well like, might as well sub. You'd be pretty damn cool for doing so. If you didn't, that's a shame. And uh, you know, I don't blame you. I failed at my own challenge. <laughs> Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's all for me. I need to take a shower. I'll see you guys in the next one.